Hi everyone, Journal Leave here. Uh, so I'm doing a, a video here on paper and rent a socket. Uh, this is my second video. The previous one I'd done was uh, paper behind the radiator in this wall. And I just thought, well, I'll do another one of a socket here in the wall. Why not do another video? Because uh, obviously a lot of people aren't sure about paper and rent a socket. So it's, uh, again, it's pretty straightforward if you know what you're doing, which I always say, you know. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be awkward. Simple as that, you know. Um, so basically, um, this is a piece of wallpaper, which I said in my previous video. Uh, I have the strip measured and ready to go. I'll paste this wall here, and I'll paper around this socket. So a wee tip, right, to make it easy for yourself. See if there's no match in the paper, right? Uh, you know, if you can work it out where you can paper, uh, you don't, where the paper doesn't cover the whole socket, right? Obviously, you know, uh, I can do a video on that as well, and it's handy to do. But it's easier if you're kind of coming around, halfway around the socket, uh, and then your second sheet is coming around the other side. It, it is an easier job. But, and that's the way I have it measured here. So, um, here, here's your socket here, okay? And, um... Just turn it around there like so. Uh, you don't have to take the whole socket off. Uh, again, you know, um, a lot of people try it themselves. If, if I was getting sockets removed, again, I'd have an electrician in to do that. But you do not need to take the whole socket off. It's silly. You know what I mean? It really is. It's a matter of fact, you're better keeping the socket on the wall so you can get the right measurement for the paper going around the socket, you know. All you need to do is loosen the socket a few mil and allow a few mil on your paper to tuck in behind it that's all you don't need to go right in behind it in any shape or form you know what i mean so like it's handy enough right so obviously you have two screws here loosen the socket and it's important with this one here it has a wee uh, black rubber trim around it there you know and obviously it has to come out as well and the paper has to go in behind that there you know so so there you have it you know you don't need to loosen it right out you know just enough to get your paper in behind it right so what i normally do is before i um uh hang the the paper i loosen the socket first Right, make sure it comes out handy enough. I screw it back in again, and I'll, I'll tell you why I do that in a wee minute. So, there you go. So, what I'll do is first of all, I'll paste the wall here. So with the edge of your paper's going just come past, there's my line there that I've measured up. So the paper's coming to here, so I just bring the paste past it. Again, make sure you put plenty of paste on, especially going up with your, you have to trim your paper. Up into that picture reel there. Make sure there's plenty on the edge. And try and avoid hitting, hitting this here previous strip. Now your paper's going to come to about here. So again, put plenty around your socket. Like so. Just down the bottom here. Again, make sure you put plenty on the top of your skirting board.
So that's it cut in the paste. Next job is get your roller. And uh, there we go. Just roll it basically. Nice even coat of adhesive. There you have it. So what I'll do is I'll put this paper on here. Uh, if it's sitting here ready to go on. So again, just get your paper in place. Bearing an inch or two up over your picture reel here, like so. Get the join in nice and tight. Can you see that there yet? Bit better. Okay. So you can just see, just just get your paper into place with your hand first. You know, get your join in tight there like so. Spatula, just to smooth it out. So before going to this socket here, I'm going to uh, trim the top piece here, okay? Push it up tight. Under the edge or and trim it. And as always, clean water, sponge, and give it a wee weight down. Next job. So you can see what we have I've done here. I'm coming around this socket here, so my next strip. What I'm doing here with this section here, I'll be doing it with the next strip. Okay. So basically cut it to the corner. Slip it into place there. Now See where I trimmed it there? All right. Just bring out a couple, trim that excess off a couple of millimeter over, so it can tuck in behind the socket. You know, yeah. Say it only, it only needs a couple of mil. You don't need to go right in behind it. You know, and you just do up your scissors like so. And the reason why I keep the socket tight. Is because you know this is what is uh, this is this the position the socket's going to be in you know so then I loosen it up pop the paper paper in behind again straight forward and again if I was going over the, the full socket uh, it's the same thing I'll be just trimming around it pulling the socket out and tucking in behind it but it is easier doing it this way if you can. You know, do it in two sections, halfway over, you know, each side. Not sound a wee bit complicated, but it, it actually isn't. And it, it is easier. So, where's that popped out there? So, just get that wee rubber seal and tuck your paper in behind it there. 
just be careful too, you know, you don't, um, just be gentle, you, you don't uh, rip your paper. That's it in. So you can see there, that's a little tucked in. There's that rubber seal there, as you can see. The paper's just sent a few mil, top, side, bottom. Just screw that back in there. There you have it. So then when I'm putting this last final strip on, I'll pop this side out and just tuck it in there, you know. Then you just bring your paper on down then. So where you have to turn it on top of your skirting board there, you know, just, just mark it um, your spatula across there so you can get a nice straight cut with your uh, blade. Wash off any excess paste. There shouldn't be too much. See this paste the wall. But I always, uh, as a precaution, just keep wave it all over. Just wait right now, we saw that there, because I'll be pasting it. So you can see how tidy it is around there, you know. Um, it's just tucked in a couple of mil in behind it there. There you go. So what I will do is, um, I say I this job was finished. Uh, I mentioned it in my previous video. There was a roll of wallpaper short, and he ordered it. So uh, I just came back a couple of weeks later to put this final strip on. And uh, so it'll just let you walk around the whole job now that you know uh, customers has all the pictures up, and um, I think it looks well now. Just show you here, so. So there, look, there's that socket there, as you can see, a close-up of it. You see, that's just tucked in there behind our cup of mill. No need to take that socket right off. Neat, tidy. I'll do the same on the other side there. So this is the final strip. That's the job finished. I'll just show you here. There's that paper on there, all the pictures. And I painted all these spindles. They were all varnished. Done them all in strong weight. Redone the handrail. Done all this woodwork in strong weight here. As you can see. Ceilings in strong weight mat. Woodwork, strong weight satin. Window, strong weight. And then this wood is in a deeper colour. It's a far on ball colour, I forget the name of it now, but as you can see there, it goes well with the paper. Down, I have to say, a panel wood's nice in these old houses, you know. One round here. Anyway, so there you go. 
So if you have any questions on that uh, paper around a socket, sure, again, as I always say, if you want any advice from preparation to hanging the paper to lining paper or whatever, sure get back to me. Okay, thanks for watching. Right, bye.